Hey everybody, I'm back to do a book haul for you all. So this is going to be part one of a two-part book haul. I tried, I attempted over this past weekend to record one giant book haul, but there's a little bit over 30 books in this one haul, so it ended up not working out. And when I tried to edit a lot of it out, um, the editing kind of made the video make no sense. So I'm going to split it into two parts, I sort of split them in a certain way. I'm excited for all of these books, but part one is books that I'm probably going to wait a little bit to read, and then part two is books that I am going to get to uh, a lot sooner, um, hopefully, because <laughs> usually I say that, and that doesn't happen anyways, so. And let's just jump right into it because I'm going to try and attempt to record both parts today, and I have a lot to do, and I have to go to work in like two hours, so <laughs> yeah. So to start off the video, I'm going to show you all of the adult fantasy novels that I've picked up recently. I got about five in this particular haul. I got into like a buying adult fantasy kick the other day and went out and bought all of these, even though you know, there's other books that I'm more excited to get. And I just received some in the mail yesterday and I cannot wait to read these and that's gonna be in part two of this haul. So, so anyways, let me just show you what these books are. The first one is Akadem's or Akadem's Fury. This is book two in the Codex Alara by Jim Butcher. I actually have not started this series. As we all know, Reagan from Peru's Project loves this series. So I've just kind of been collecting all of the books because I'm sure I'm going to love it and eventually I'll probably just marathon read all of these. So I went ahead and purchased book two. For some reason, my bookstore just kept being out of book two, both of them. I have a Barnes and Nobles and a Books a Million that's like pretty much like equal distance from my house. Um, just in opposite directions, and both of them just kept being out of it, only this volume for some reason. So I eventually found it at the Barnes and Nobles after like weeks and weeks of going back and checking and checking and checking, and they finally had it. So I had to pick it up before it disappeared again. I then picked up Empress by Karen Miller. This is book one in the Godspeaker series. I, I don't know anything about this series. Basically, I just went into the adult fantasy section and just started pulling out books that I thought sounded cool. Uh, I actually don't know too much about this book. All I know is that it has a really strong female protagonist in it, and I've been loving me my strong-willed female protagonist, and I haven't read any high fantasy novels with uh, female main leads, so I kind of really want to read this. So that's what drew me to this book. And this author is more well known for her, what is it called? Kingmaker, Kingbreaker duology. I almost checked that one out, but the whole fact that there was a female main lead in this one is what drew me to this one instead, because I think there's a male lead in her other one. Um, that's the duology right there. But yeah, so I wanna check this one out, and if I like it, then I will try out that other series. Then I picked up Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. This is book one in the Broken Empire series, or Trilogy. I know there's, I think there's three books out right now, but I don't think it's done, so it's probably a longer series. Uh, what drew me to this series is because I have heard a few things about it. Surprisingly, though, not on BookTube, but uh, I really liked the cover of this series, and my boyfriend's been playing um, the new Assassin's Creed uh, game with, um, I know nothing about video games, I'm sorry for you guys who love video games, but the one, the newer one with the pirates and stuff, whatever that one is. But anyways, it looks pretty cool, and although I don't play video games, this kind of reminded me, just like the cover of it, uh, even though it has something to do with pirates or assassins, really. I mean, kind of about assassins. But anyways, uh, another thing that really drew me to this book was the size of it. I mean, the text is still pretty small, but it's a lot shorter than, say, compared to these other fantasies. So I'm excited to try this one out because it'll be a much quicker read and it's high fantasy, and yes, so I can't wait. The last two books I picked up uh, after watching uh, April from April Brooks. She's a fellow booktuber on here. If you haven't heard of her, I will link her channel down below. Uh, she was doing a bookshelf tour uh, like a month or so ago, and I was kind of just looking at her bookshelf, pausing when it sounded, when the book sounded interesting, and going in and looking up the book and 
possibly buying a few. And so a couple of the books that I have in this haul are from her bookshelf tour. Um, these last two high fantasy novels are, and she actually recently um, put these two books in an unhaul, like she was getting rid of it. I don't know if she's actually read them or if she just said she wouldn't be interested in reading them anymore, but I sort of am, so I wanna check it out. And those books are Wolfskin and Fox Mask by Juliet Merlier. I tried to get the covers that she had, but they were unavailable on Amazon, so I ended up getting these. And this first one's kind of growing on me, but that one kind of still freaks me out. Just a little bit. Now, I don't know too much about this. I've, all I know is that, that it's high fantasy and that uh, April really loves this particular author. Um, her She likes her other books better, but I kind of wanted to check it out and I already purchased it. So I'm gonna try these first and if I do, you know, enjoy it, I will definitely check out this author's other stuff. So I told you that there was a few other books that she mentioned in her bookshelf tour that I wanted to try out. This one here um, is not one that I typically gravitate towards, but I definitely wanted to check it out after hearing um, the, all the positive things that she said about it. So I decided to try it out and that is Dead Beautiful by Yvonne Woon. It never really interested me because from the cover it kind of looks like a typical YA paranormal romance to me. But she was raving about it and she has the whole trilogy and I really trust her judgment because she reads a lot of good books and a lot of books that I enjoy. So. I want to try it out and see if I will like it because, as you know, covers can always be misleading. So, yes. Speaking of ones that look like your typical YA, I picked up Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. Um, I actually already own this book in paperback, but I prefer hardbacks and I saw it in the clearance section at Books A Million for like three dollars. So I was like, why am I passing that up when I can have it in hardback? And then if I do like the series, I can pick the rest of it up in the hardbacks. I think it's a retelling of Helen of Troy actually, um, I think, but honestly, I'm not too sure. Uh, again, one of those typical YA covers that I don't normally gravitate towards, but although I do have a lot of typical YA covers, <laughs> I say that and yet, that. I'm really a hypocrite. Okay, and then the last one in my haul that I typically don't go towards. That sounded pretty interesting after talking to somebody about it, and that is Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. What got me into picking this book up was because I was at a book signing for Marissa Mayer um, at the Barnes and Nobles near me. And while we were waiting for her to show up, I was talking to a fellow book lover, and she was raving about this book to me, so I had to go ahead and pick it up and check it out for myself because um, she sounded, it sounded like she really, really loved it, so I felt, I wouldn't say obligated to try it out, but yeah, I guess I did. So my one and only friend that I know that, like personally, that reads, uh, her name is Keely, and she's been bugging me about starting this series for a long time. Um, we kind of have our own little book club, you could say, even though it's just the two of us. Yeah, pathetic. Okay. Um, but anyways, she has been trying to get me to read this particular trilogy for a long time now, and I don't know why, but I kind of just have been, um, avoiding it, and not that I don't want to read it, but just there's been other things that I wanted to read first. But anyways, that is Enclave by Anne Aguirre. Keely really loves this trilogy, and I was at the bookstore, and I was like, I just need to pick it up. And I just grabbed it and went with it. I don't really want to get to it right now, but at least it's on my shelf, so if I'm going to pick it up, I can anytime now. But I have a feeling she's going to push me to read it soon. So, and the other one that she really wants me to read because she loved both of the books in it is Never Fade by Alexandria Bracken. This is the sequel to The Darkest Minds, which I read back in like November or December. But I, I enjoyed it. I wasn't like, absolutely fangirling over it like a lot of people have, but it was a good book and I just didn't feel like it was my favorite, so I didn't pick up the sequel for a long time. And I got it, and now I got it, and I'm gonna read it. These next two books, I want to say there were about two booktubers that I saw kind of talking about these two books. Uh, I know that one of them was Misty at Book Rat Misty, 
And then the other one, I can't remember her name, but when I do, I'll leave a link to both of their channels down below. They were both raving about these two stories, so I picked them up, even though I really know, one of them I actually know nothing about, so I have no idea why I picked it up, but it was pretty cheap on Amazon, so I was like, eh, let me just try it out. And that one is Titan Magic by Jodi Lamb. Uh, this is a self-published YA fantasy, I believe. I really like the cover. It's kind of interesting, but it actually has absolutely nothing written on the spine. So that kind of bugs me a little bit, although the spine is very pretty. When I have it on my shelf, I would like the title to be on the side. So it's okay, I guess. Maybe I'll like try and get it to where it faces forward on my shelf somehow. Um, I know that Misty at Book Rat Misty was saying this was a really good book and that she, I don't know if she read it already or if she was planning on reading it or if she was, asked to do a review on it, I, I don't know. But when she showed this book, which I don't think she has this cover, um, it sounded pretty interesting, so I want to check it out. I don't know why I did that. And then another one that I think was on her channel, but I'm pretty sure it was on the other girl's channel, and I can't remember her name, but when I do, link in the doobly-doo. Vessel by Sarah Beth Durst. Ah, got it. Basically, in this society, you are trained your entire life to uh, become the vessel of a god or goddess when you reach a certain age. And it is about this girl named Liana, who, when she reaches said age, she um, does goes to do the ceremony to become, to have a goddess take over her. But it doesn't happen, and her tribe becomes angered and starts blaming her. But a boy appears out of nowhere. He's already a vessel for a god, and this, this god tells her that five other gods and goddesses have gone missing, and basically her and this god go on a journey to go find them. It's her, like, self-discovery of, you know, her finding out that she doesn't want to become the vessel for a god or goddess. She wants to live her own life. And it's a premise of a story I've never heard before. It's very interesting. It's... It's so unique, I just needed to try it out when I heard about what the story was about, so... Actually, I put that in, I put this one in this haul, but this one sounds very interesting. I might actually want to read this sooner, so it should have been in the other haul, but, you know, we'll see. And the last three books in this haul are all in the same trilogy. I owned the first book for a long time, for about a year and a half, but it was like an ugly cover, and... I finally got rid of it. I traded it in at the used bookstore for another book, and so I've been meaning to recollect this series. And I've been, and now that the trilogy is finally complete and they all are in matching covers, I went ahead and got it. And it is Across the Universe trilogy. Um, and when I say I had the ugly cover for this one, I mean it wasn't the pretty white one with the universe on it. It was an ugly, like, dark navy blue, and it had a circle with a random chick, like, reaching out, and it was very ugly. It was. If you all know what cover I'm talking about, you know, it was ugly. So, a lot of people had negative things to say about these covers. I mean, I really like the original covers, too. But I really like this co these covers, and the fact that they all match is awesome, because when this third one came out, and it doesn't have a matching cover to the originals, it was just... I was immediately like, I'm going to wait to buy this series when it all has matching covers. So I waited and waited and waited and waited and finally picked it up. So we have Across the Universe, A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth, all by Beth Revis. And now I have the completed trilogy, so I will probably marathon read it. Maybe not anytime soon, because I have a lot of other books I want to read first, but now I have it so I can pick it up when I want. And yes, and they will look pretty on my shelf. So those are all the books in part one of this book haul. I am now going to film part two. I might not put both parts up at the same time. This one will probably go up some point today or tomorrow. And then part two will probably be in the next couple days as well. So look forward to those and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.